Hello, welcome back to Art of Pop Culture. Today we're going over a Netflix original movie called The Wrong Messy. So, I don't always... <clears throat> I don't always do bad reviews because I feel like it's it's one of those things where it's just like, if I don't like it, I don't listen to it. Like, or if I don't feel like it's great, I don't review it, you know? Because I feel like... I'm more, the stuff I'm passionate about is something that I want to show to everybody, unless it's one of those things where it's just like, the idea, like, the idea of the movie slash album is something to share of what's going on, especially if they have a legacy, I definitely want to talk, expand on their thing, and that's exactly what I'm doing with this, it's not an Adam Sandler direct it's more adjacent in the way of the type of movie. If you remember in like the mid 2000s, there was like Jack and Jill. There was um, like a shit ton of Adam Family, Adam, Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler, Jesus. Adam Sandler, that's what I was going with. Adam Sandler uh, movies were just super wacky. He's doing different characters. He has like Snyder, or he has um, Rob uh, Schneider in it. He has David Spade in it. The beat, the. Uh, Bench Warmers was a great example. It's just like that umbrella of Happy Gilm or Gilmore. Happy Gilmore? Happy Gilmore. No, Happy Madison. Um, yeah, Happy Madison Productions type of world. And I felt like with those, you have your hit and miss. Like sometimes you can enjoy them as they are, and sometimes you sometimes you're just fucking trash. There's just has some just like what is, is the point of this movie? But with that said, this one was kind of a mixture between the two. I have, I saw it and I got light, I got interested because I love David Spade. And so I was like, David Spade, oh my god, he's back, he's back, he's back. And I saw that Rob Snyder's back. So I'm like, oh my god, he's back too. So I had to invest. And I kind of like Lauren um, Lepkus. I seen we, she's been in different pieces of in in my life of like like movies. Um, including Orange is New Black, which she killed in that. So I was like, okay, she's doing funny things. I want to get into it. She looks silly. I'm into it. And so I finally broke down and list or watched it because I was kind of dodging it because I didn't want to watch. I was scared that I was going to watch something that's completely just not the plot. Just was just shit, other shit. But it wasn't at all more than like it wasn't and it was like. The whole so let me break down a plot first. So pretty much is about <clears throat> Tim. Uh, Tim is the character of David Spade. Um, Tim thinks that he's in, he's invited the woman of his dreams on a um, work retreat to Hawaii, um, realizing too late that he mistakenly texts somebody from a nightmare blind date, and that nightmare blind date is her name is Missy, and she's played by Lauren uh, Lapkus. So they go into the Hawaii thing, I, and I am kind of kind of believe that because she didn't he didn't write down his um because Tim didn't write down the name of the person I guess but it's just I don't know there's a lot of holes in the plot because and like why did he take her to Hawaii when she realizes that when he realizes that's not her especially being on the plane you would think that you would meet the person before you go on the plane not meet the person on the plane and on top of that I feel like Let's just say, like, he felt he didn't have the courage to say no, so we go all the way to Hawaii. Like, there's things that happen in Hawaii that just fucks up a lot of things that I, I personally would have been like, you know what, fuck it. Like, no, this is, you weren't the person I was looking for, I accidentally texted you, I was too scared to kind of tell you off about it because you said, oh, no, 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 that's right, because he didn't want to say anything at the beginning on the plane because she said that he saved her life and pretty much was going to jump off a bridge, not knowing that, spoiler alert, by the way, not that you, that, that matters, but, like, he, she pretty much says later on when he's like, I thought you were going to jump off a bridge if I, like, if I, like, dumped you and everything, and stuff so like that, and I saved you from killing yourself. She's like, no, I was just doing a bridge jump, like, bungee jumping kind of thing, and no one was there, so blah, blah, blah. And you text me before I did it, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. Like, why would it, like, now that you know this, everything's in clear, because she, she definitely, it definitely came out to me that she could lightly, lightly manipulated her story. And I feel like, he ran with it thinking like, oh, she's suicidal. Now that she know now he knows she's not suicidal. I thought that he was like, okay, well, that was fun. 
you need to go find your way back to um you to the US or the US back to the mainlands and here's your ticket oh well I uh, it would be fair I would buy her ticket back but I wouldn't have bought her ticket back after this they have a scene where she they go on like a boat trip or they go on a boat to like check out the sharks and that's where you meet Rob Snyder's character um but he almost gets killed inside a shark cage when she like throws up inside of the cage from the top of it. She's not even inside of it. He is. And like tries to put chum all over the place or surrounding the cage to get more exciting results because sharks weren't coming around. So I personally think that was very dangerous and very irresponsible and I would have just flipped. I would have been like, no, we're fucking done. But he doesn't even do it then, because then he starts falling in love with her because she's like, I'm gonna make it right. So she run, she like talks to her his boss during this work retreat. Um, afterwards and try to like get their his boss's relationship together with his wife by saying that you need to treat her better and stuff like that. For some reason she knows that. And he like she hit like hypnotizes the boss to really, really like Tim. And so, because of that, Tim is like, oh, I think I like you because you did something for me. And it's like, she did a favor. She did a favor from the fact that she fucked up half the fucking trip. Like, I would have been like, yeah, I deserve to get, I deserve some type of re redemption from this because you completely almost lost my job, almost got me killed. Like, yes, you have to, like, I expect that you would try to make up for it. But with that said, <laughs> It wasn't even, it wasn't like a makeup for him directly. It was a hypnotism. Like, it, it, he, he was hypnotized. He was hypnotized to hold, he was hypnotized to like him, not genuinely like him. And when he was done, he definitely didn't like him before. Like, he didn't, still didn't like him. So it was just like, what? So, taking away all of those pieces of a plot that makes no fucking sense, I did enjoy the banters and the jokes. There were some jokes that there was a lot of jokes inside of between the whole plot that I really enjoyed. It's like one of those things where you watch a movie or show and they have the main plot episodes, but the ones that have the off episodes are just like fill in episodes, but they kind of like do some fun stuff with it. That's I feel like that's when you get the most creative. I think it's exactly what happens with this movie. Like when they're not on the plot, it's pretty it's pretty silly and funny. But on the plot, it makes it it irritated me, and I was like, "What is happening? That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't climb to this. Doesn't this this bridge does not connect to this, or this side does not bridge onto this side. Like that's that's not how it works." Anyway, I thought it was enjoyable, well, ish, but I also think the plot was just all over the place. Um, so with that said, I give this a. Two out of ten because it just it just was it's there's uh it just wasn't that great. But if you look if you take away the plot and you want to watch something just just silly for silly sake and you have nothing else to kind of watch and you don't want to be and you kind of want to space space out and just enjoy something for it it's just silliness blankly. I think you will like this. But if you're looking for something that has a great plot that looks that follows a a genuine story that actually makes sense. You're not. You shouldn't watch this. I don't think they'll. I don't think you would. I don't think you'll enjoy. I don't. Or sorry. Not that you shouldn't watch this. I don't think you will enjoy it. My opinion. So let's manage it. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about the show or show the movie. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification. Side note: I do have a huge love for Adam Sandler movies and those type of movies like this. So I'm not giving up hope that there's going to be some other one that comes out that's be like that they do again that's going to be even better than this one. So I have hope that that happens. At the same time, it just, this just, this just wasn't it. Um, anyway, I hope everybody has a great week. I will see you guys in the next video.